my friends and welcome back to Ace Attorney or Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Now we're gonna continue with the Turnabout Samurai and now we're gonna be in court and be all badass and save people's lives and so on. Okay, let's go. October 19, 9.42 a.m. This is the court defendant lobby number one. Um, Mr. Wright. Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, you're noticing? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, oh, oh uh, um, uh, no, uh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Really? Right, Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. <laughs> Phoenix. Your client is now practical, uh, practically a dead man walking. Oh. Perhaps that's why I feel uh, particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. Oh, poor Phoenix. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that we'll lose the trial. Oh, this isn't going to be easy. Nope. I guess. <laughs> we got each other. It's gonna be so easy just by that. Okay? Good. This is it. October 19, 10 a.m. This is the court, courtroom, 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 courtroom number four. Slap. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Pops. The prosecution is many and uh, Why is it always you? Come on, H boy. I don't know. Wait, you were here the first time, I guess. Yeah, okay, I guess you have to be here. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeboy. Your opening statement, please. An unexpected man has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there were others present at the studios. But today I would like to show evidence proving that I have nothing to do with them. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeboy. I wonder if that producer is going to come out. Nah. Or maybe. <laughs> that name. Prosecution guns, Mrs. Cell. I'm not gonna say the last one because Raz is gonna laugh like poo poo again to the stand. Or that director. Felt more obvious with the director. Will the witness stay his name in profession? Oh, wow, what did I give you? How uh, rude, man! How uh, rude can you get? You don't get no big. I'm the director, I make the same time I know Brawl of Sal, I'm a director, television. <laughs> that, that face of expression. Why are you at Blackpool Studios on the day of murder? Y yes, you are. Hmm. Very well, please testify to the court about the events and the of the about the events of that day. Phoenix. Oh, you look so not pumped, Mia. Let's start by picking his, uh, this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Oh, R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Witness testimony day of the murder. I was asking you for my night During the morning, I was in and I can see the rain fear. I do a lot more time than I thought you would. Okay. I hear that everyone else has a lunch in... Uh, oh, I hear that everyone else has a lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the studio to tell us, so I ended up skipping lunch. Yeah, uh, I think you actually talked about that. We were in the meeting until the round four. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left the stairs. That's about it! It's, that sounds like it was all true. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammond's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to, and according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. If that... He'll stay on doom! It feels like he didn't murder... Uh, Hammer. It feels like that, that he didn't do it. I don't know, maybe it's the oracle-looking lady. 
I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Oh, that is your home around now that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an uh, action scene run for you. Okay. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. What do you mean by that? Why did it go on so for long? Um, I'm pretty sure you already heard about this. But give his wizard's ankle during the run for scene. Alright, that's the lift. The wizard turns to me to missing my lunch. <laughs> Whoops, rolling on the floor, starving? <laughs> Lol. I mean, no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hear everyone else at lunch in the employee area. Who did he hear that from, huh? What exactly did they have for. Well, really, is that really important? Cheeseburg steak! cook some up. He is not doing that! Look! Oh my gosh, no! Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. That's meaning that the wizards did not eat with them. That was not... <laughs> I was wondering who told you about that, how you could have heard about it. I had a meeting in the studio to trade I ended up skipping lunch. But there was someone eating outside the studio too. So, in the end, you didn't get to... You seriously don't ask the questions I want. You were to ask. Yeah, no say at least. Can you believe it? Nope. That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah. Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Oh wow. Um It's a little vague. Actually there is something bothering me. Mr. Manella, just now you said steak at least. You ate something other than steak? <gasps> Yeah, you can! I had some sugar in my pocket which I used to serve <laughs> save stable of starvation. I see. Is that all? I was sure I was onto something there. Okay, well I guess we we'll continue then. Hmm. So in the end you didn't get to it, blah blah blah. Yeah, no take it is. Can you believe it? Must be tall, Phoenix. Yeah, that's something about this. You want to use cup? Okay, let's go with that. Yeah, that's seem odd. Now that you mention it, Mr. Mandela. Huh? What? What do you mean? Um, your name? When I went to that trailer, I saw something on the table. Oh yeah! You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. There were two plates on the table, the same kind of place as in the employee area. But wait, lunch there. No, uh, uh, um, uh, good call. I, uh, I was in bed, so I didn't mention it. What? Uh, I did eat that one. Ah, uh, T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well... Sorry, <laughs> mm, I had to jump. Yeah, well, I mean, this isn't one food. Oh, that's horrible. I bought, I bought a little bit of everything and I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much, but... Well, so, when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. I, uh, walked down then. <laughs> Ew! Stop it! A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait a second. If they took a break in the meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I press on that one a bit more. I guess, is, it, is this what you meant? Holy! What were you discussing? The steers and my story and the budget. Get this. The smells is trying to me that Mr. Mandela. Those kids are yours are not the proper person. Can you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. Uh, so, nobody left the table during the whole meeting. Okay, well here's the word press. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well... Y yeah, no, 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 no one. You liar. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder! 
Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T-bone steak during your break? <gasps> Oops. Are you really? Are you laughing on the floor right now? You look very shocked. Well. And Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we need to take a break a little bit. Phoenix, great job! Thanks, me up. Yeah. If they, if they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Yes. Your Honor? I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Egg. Oh no, not you, Edgy Boy. Yes, shush, 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 shush. <laughs> uh oh. Head, she boy is laughing. Witness testimony, dear Burke. Yeah, uh, this is a very good one. What does that mean? But it was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 in base 12. What? No, not time for some but want to say commit murder to so do what LOL That's only just enough time to eat a table of steak if you ask me it seems well, okay Hmm I don't think it would even be enough time for that but that's just me Ah, you're a sly a sly sure uh, sly <laughs> slow sure slow eater that's nice Very well you may begin the cross examination Evil stare of well awesome because we're also oh man edgy boy is lame. Um, what does that mean? I just want to press here to get to, uh, to understand what that means. Oh, that didn't. Oh, they didn't ask. They didn't ask. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I say it was from around two thirty or so until. <gasps> oh snap! Doodle. Oh yeah. 2.30! That's the time of death! So we could have gone to Studio One, kill Hammer, and come back! But what about the steak? I guess it's possible time-wise. Oh, oh, Edgy Boy, what are you doing? What are you doing? What does that mean? What were you doing for those 50? We know what you were doing. Eating my team bird steak! What else? There were two plays on the trailer table. Oh wait, the other one was Divas. Sorry, Divas Kiss played. Divas Kiss, the producer. That's quite a feat. No, not that for someone to say commit murder is to do good day. How did you know that, you poo poo? Why is that? Oh, shush. I'm having enough of this pointless line of questioning. Yeah, oh no, I'm a silly bitty. The testimony to this point has made one certain fact very fully clear. The people in the trailer has nothing to do with this murder. It was a positive moment and one any of them to go to Studio One. What? I think about the tree, aren't you? Something wrong, Mr. Brad? Surely I suggest that none of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Bright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I claim it and claim it loud. Yay! If I agree to let everyone in the trail to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Wait, what? Mr. Power will be found guilty. What? I don't understand anymore. With f 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. Alright, I got the judge thinking now. <laughs> stop, stop, just stop. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. Oh, well, that's kinda nice, thank you! What's your point, Edgy Boy? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Sure, you know that one fifteen to four, the power between the city was blown. Mr. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Oh wait, I gave you a phone voice, oh my. Why, right, but... Phoenix, let's think about this. You were able 
to go to Studio 2 when that monkey head was still there. Come on now. True. The break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of day. However, the path from there to the scene of the crown was blocked. The friend of Miss Monkey had better to wait! It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgy Boy has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. Oh, we shouldn't cor correct him then? No, can no, no counter argument, Mr. Ryan. I'm afraid you lose this. <gasps> no! My things! I believe we have seen enough evidence. You wanna get slapped? No, okay. I'm sorry, I shouldn't slap you. I would like to relieve Mr. Minnelli from the stand. What? What? It's over? No! What the hell? Snap! Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They, therefore, have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai. Given the size of the costume, no one, no one other than Mr. Powers could have wanted that day. Wait, we lost it completely? All that, all that is lacking is the decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. You, uh, no. The investigation is pleased and announced that we indeed... What? That we indeed have a decisive evidence. And the evidence of witness. Slap. Who is this witness, Mr. Eddie Boy? Ma uh, excuse me? Why are you talking about Penny? Because that, that didn't happen, okay? Penny didn't see that. Penny was just in, the he was in, just in the building, but then he didn't see it. Or did Penny lie? No! <laughs> My witness at the very moment when this is Sammy, I scared with the big thing. Snap, 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 snap. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess after which we will hear your witness. Oh, I wanna know who it is. Court is adjourned for recess. Sleep. October 19, 11.04 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Tense, 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 music. Yeah, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, yeah, this is my jam. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> okay. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. <gasps> M Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I never given up on the trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Uh, um, er, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. You are sure? Yeah, okay. Well, let's go guarantee stuff. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the steel samurai. Here to children everywhere, after all. Uh, uh, you. Thanks. <laughs> oh, don't cry. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Oh yeah! Let's do it! Alright! Come on, me and show some power, yeah! Me and I go power team! Mm -mm. October 19, 11.15 a.m. This is court, courtroom number four. Oh, snap! Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The most has a concern. As I mean, this is a great school of 10 years, and this is American. Oh wow, you brought. Oh, you're right. Oh, now I remember. Um, gum shoe. Ed, <laughs> shoe gum. Uh, brought a kid, and we were like, oh no. Okay. We, we learned that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cool questioning. What? Nice to see Edge Boy taking more high ground. Yeah, right. However, we had no choice. The resolution calls Cody Hackers to stand. Are you so short? <laughs> yeah, and uh, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, oh, right, right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates you do. Crates for donuts, okay. Hello. Will the witness say his name in grading school? 
oh yeah, you're, yeah, you're totally not being all scary and stuff. <laughs> that you blamed us for being about to become witness. What? What? I don't remember your voice. What? Just because you're all grown up than me, you can push me around. Uh, thank you, Cody. I love you. Cody? Answer this question, okay? Hey, hey, it's you, the nice lady. Co I'm Cody Hackers. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Oh, no. Mr. Itchy Boy. Please remember that you are speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Ah, yes. Ha, <laughs> snap. <laughs> Witness, uh, I mean Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. <laughs> you were present, uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the uh, uh, incident, uh, incident, yeah? You got, you got a problem with that? Please, please tell us what you said that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you in Gramps with the beard over there? Huh? Just Mr. Edgy Boy. Oh, <laughs> bearded gentleman. <laughs> A very, very long day. Incidental, uh, incidentally, po photographic e equipment is strictly forbidden in this court. My police, your honor, he said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I like special permission if that's special. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if you had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note and off it in the court record. Cody's camera added to the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw on the day of the innocent uh, incident. Wow, I say innocent. I wanted to see a still at my rehearsal just once. Even though I see him all the time because I always sneak in. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods of the path so that the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kinda lost on the way though for about five minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the CS Samurai, so that's Bucky. And really, it totally rocked right before my eyes. Out, out came the bad guy. Of course, the CS Samurai took him down. Oh, oh I, okay. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get in the studio, so I went home. What? You had a camera with you? What are you talking about? Hmm. Very well. The defense may bring his cross-examination. And be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yawning again. This kid is tougher than most adults that we see in here, honestly. Yay. Yeah. Evil stay off. I don't like you, itchy boy. I want to see a uh, sales library just once. Maybe you should press it because there have been a lot of pain here. You really like the sales library, huh? Of course I do. I take every show and I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Is this really interesting? Okay. Cause duh. My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. I <laughs> know. Mm. Hmm. But what about the drain thing? Off the path? Yeah, you know how the stories are in the valley there. If you go off the path a little this woods, then that's where I was. I see. Anyhow. Yeah, I knew it. I was going for a studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. Really? You got lost in the woods? Yeah. I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, oh, I was out relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? Pizza Steve up here. That was awesome. Um, when I came out, but uh, when I came out by the studio, there was the CS Samurai. Maybe she press you too. It's because the CS Samurai. Yeah, he yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. Okay. What sort of bad guy was it? Hammer, duh. A guy, a person, kinda tall, skinny. Huh? Are you sure it was a guy? 
don't know. That was kind of far away. Huh, he's being awfully vague. Hmm. Really? What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Well, he kinda didn't move. Not a bit. Like, he was dead. I, I guess he was a real pro. And what a great actor. Oh. Y yeah, I suppose he was. Oh, He didn't understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go, here we go. If you had your camera. You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? N no, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. You said though that you always win though. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. It's for you to say. But, ah, uh, man, uh, oh, okay, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess, hi. Because mm. this is kind of strange to, to me. If I had my camera with me, that would be the, the time for a shot, I tell you. Because before this, he, the little kid, Cody, said, Ah, uh, yeah, I always carry the uh, camera around with me. But wait, Cody did say he didn't know how to use it yet, so that's why he always carries it around. So it's kind of, it's kind of contradicting. But when you press it, nothing happens. So yeah. I guess seeing him, yeah, I always do this. Oh gosh, <coughs> sneeze. Ah, oh, bless myself. Thank me. Thank no problem, my friend. That means a child using the word, blah, 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 we know, we know. I wanna see, uh... Okay, I guess we press everything. You really like to see- Oh wait, we did this already. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 sorry my friends, I did again. Okay. Uh, I found a map on the internet, I went to the studios, okay. Was that the day, the first... Was that day the first time you've been to the studio? Because everyone said, Ah, oh, we see you all the time. Uh, actually, I've been uh, a couple of times. I never managed to really get there on that rehearsal day. And that security lady I always yell. Raw. Right, right, please get in here. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk with you cutting me off all the time? Jeez. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, snap, Edgy Boy. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. I went through the woods of the past so that Ole would catch me. I think we're already pressed there. Yeah, of course, but I think we pressed that too. I got kind of lost on the river for about five minutes. Ah, because I was thinking, when did he... Did he say that, Cody? When he got to the studio? Okay, no. Because, I mean, how were you able to see the murder? It was... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm right there. When I came out to the studio, there was a CSM, right? Um... Maybe, maybe we should present it. No wait, they were wrong. No way. Um, we should present the camera. Close to see him somewhere to come down. Pow! If I had my camera, yeah, here we go. I don't want to lose life here. Cody, what you just said seems well a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your dig uh, digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. <gasps> Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Bright, a word with you. Uh-oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? Why? What is this digital, a digital camera contra contraption you're talking about? <laughs> what? You don't know what that is? It's um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. 
Oh, I like you. How do I explain that? Oh, you're so... Oh, you're so cute. I'm sorry, I shouldn't tell you, cute. Oh, you're so adorable. I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um, I'm gonna cry. Oh, sh no, edgy boy. Sh sh sh. Mr. Brad, how cruel you are to ter ter terrorize a poor child. Sir. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. Exactly. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, it's true though. Well, Cody. What? 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 Yeah, so I have my camera, so why? You got a problem with that? Well, we just want you to tell the truth. So, you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? What? what why would I use it? Uh, why not? I, I, I was too busy was watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were busy, so busy watching. Yeah, yeah, I, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. You see the samurai? It goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. You see the samurai rules. Huh. Hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was a brief. Mr. Bright, your cross-examination. Wow. Okay. Evil say it off. I don't like you, itchy boy. Yeah, yeah, I have my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. You see a samurai it goes for the bad guy and wham! Then the bad guy stopped moving. I'm gonna press here on the when the wham. Because we did a, you know, not we, but uh, the murder did a stab stab, not a wham wham. So, the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was, he was a person. So not Jack Cameron. How was he dressed? Uh, I kinda don't remember. What? That doesn't make sense. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then, then bad guy stopped moving. But you didn't watch the bad guy, okay? Why? Cause of wham wham. Huh? What do you mean why? Why was the why wasn't the bad guy moving? Wait, wait, wait. Cause the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> and and how did, exactly did you do that? With a wham wham. How, how, how did you do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch. Samurai shop, samurai slap. So, so, something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Um, I don't want to be too rough because he's a kid. But I've been wrong about these sort of things before, so... I guess I'd go with press him harder. Cody. What? what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that, you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah so what? Yet you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has seen what you saw quite clearly. Objection! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? Yeah! Mm. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the sa Steel Samurai fights. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. But it seems Cody didn't understand that, well, the bad guy died. Order, order, Mr. Bright. You're awesome. How could this be? That you're so freaking awesome. I'm so freaking amazed. Can you explain how we might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can't figure this out. Thank you. Mr. Bright, your answer. We have ascertained that this boy, a young boy, is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Um... Wow, I really don't know. Because I... Jackhammer died inside the Studio One. Oh, wait, no, I don't have the keycard. Wait, I don't think I had, have it. Um... <gasps> no...
Um, no. Oh my gosh. Is that what we need? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, wait. He's trying one leg. I don't think that's right, though, with this. <sighs> Cause pierce by the fruit of chest by spear. No, leave it. Blah, blah. Um. I don't know. Wow, I really don't want to be wrong about this, but I guess I gotta go with he was watching something else. Oh, sure. I don't know. My, my. Um, he was watching something else. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't, oh no. Mm, I don't know. He couldn't watch it? Oh wow, I'm gonna be so wrong about this. Because he couldn't watch it. How could he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? Oh wow, I don't want to read what's gonna happen either. Yes, the moment thing is, one thing has become quite clear in this boy's, boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the steel samurai fight like on TV. The more we play, the more he would watch. Um, huh. I have to agree with Mr. Eddie Boy. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? Well, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have certain that this young boy is a great fan of steel samurai. Why wouldn't he watch it? Okay, he was watching something else, let's go with that. And Mr. Climbers got to fight, because he was looking at something else, probably. Oh gosh, that was also wrong, because I don't... Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright, what could possibly say to both of his eyes as a fight? Why, what do you claim he was looking at? Oof. Come on, think of something. Think of something. Nothing. Oh no, I'm gonna lose life again. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making baseless claims. I'm not. Yeah, yes, sorry, uh, sorry, Your Honor. Do you have another explanation for this? Oh, we were right with the proof. <laughs> we have a certain that this young boy is a great fan of CSI. Why well, wouldn't he watch the climate sort of fight? Show evidence. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Wow, uh huh. I don't know. I don't know, we can't take. I don't think this is right. Oh, it is right, okay. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? Yeah, you're good, you're, you're quick on this. Yeah, that's the digital camera we were talking about. The witness stated that he was recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. I will I know what a dig the digital camera is. He wasn't entirely fami familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. Oh my gosh, Rasmus, really. He was trying to take a picture. Hey, hey, hey. Bullseye. What, what, what's your problem, pups? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Nope. Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his era and not take a picture. Right. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't, you, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again! R right, Mia means business. Of course she does. She means the best. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Toad Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your ca camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Hum. Welcome to the real world, kid. Witness testimony, no photo. Oh, Yeah, you're right, Pops. The steel samurai had just escaped from the cold clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That that's all that happened. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm, really. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Bright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. 
evil stare of, I'm gonna win this. Yeah, you're right, pups. The Sea Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. Okay, let's go with that first. Gosh, I'm gonna fix my seat here. Ow, my foot. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... I guess the Sea Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? Well, after a limp? So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's, that's all that happened. Really? How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. We got the dirt phoenix. Find out what this kid is all about. Yeah, you're right, Pops. Um, I'll press that, we can press here. Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons, I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture, I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open it as I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground. Um, the still samurai. That's all that happened. Yup. Hmm. That's all? Y yeah I told you, I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have once. I got that lens open. Did you really not take a picture? Not even once. Press him hard. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Yep, I have some proof. Your book. Listen up, Cody Atkins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. <gasps> hey! Bullseye? Question mark? How, how did you know? Oh. <laughs> we didn't, but thanks. Now we do. I see through all your lies, Cody Atkins. It's one of my powers. Superpowers. W well, this feels great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I t yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? <laughs> there has to be something. They got the dirt, Phoenix. Oh, yeah, you're right. Blah 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 blah. Press. You erase them? Y yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Sea of Samurai victorious? Well, y you know, why, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Huh. He's becoming less and less cooperative. I'd better find a clear contradiction soon or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something, they got the Dirt Phoenix. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, present. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to resent this. I know maybe we'll get some get some anger on us because of this. Cody, what, 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 why, man? Every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, 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 uh, right. What, what was it you told me then? Hmm. I go to every live performance that I always take a picture when the sales are that's the final blow. With Sam! I got them all. I never missed one. I have a perfect collection. Uh oh. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing in Taurus over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would have just erased it. Snape, wouldn't you keep it for your album? <gasps> Mr. Wright. What exactly is this album you speak of? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I, I see. May I take a look? I am a fan, of all. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none of them, none were taken that day. Uh oh. Slap. Order. Mr. Bright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai has just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Uh oh. No. Wait. No way. Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. M M Mia, are, are we sure about this? Did he actually. No. Wait, no. What? Yes, 
I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Bright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photo he took? Oh no. The Sea of Samurai didn't win. Oh, that makes sense. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. Slayer. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted, the, deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai? L lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, 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 no wait, no. It, it's, it's impossible. The, the Steel Samurai never loses. Never loses to anyone, ever. Your Honor. The witness have re has re have revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he raised his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Snap, 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 snap. Oh, oh, order. I will have order, please. Wit witness. I mean, Cody, is this true? What, what, what did you see? Tell the court what you saw. Please don't tell me that day. The law, the law, no. I. Let's <laughs> Oh, my. I was correct. <laughs> oh, Cody Kims. I think I'm better. Cody. That day you saw the CSM lose a fight. Right? Well, okay, okay. You, you're right. That, that still survived right, fell down. Then he didn't move, move, move. Well. Aww. Order, order, order! No, Angie Boy. What kind of stun are you trying to pull, right? The Sea of Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness testimony, the Sea Samurai was the one who fell. Sorry. Mr. Bright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. And. <laughs> what's this all about? Hammer was the victim. Sea Samurai was the victim. There was no victim. Well, this is getting difficult. I don't want to lose life, but I guess I'm gonna do that because I want to say there was no victim. Mm. Maybe they were trying working out and asking. There was no victim in this in this case. What? what, what? Has the defense taken leave of his senses? What? Of course, Jack Hammer died, but the Sea Samurai fell too. It was a draw. Objection! I hope I don't write about this. Sorry, I was too shocked to say anything for a bit there. Isn't right. Only one person died in this incident, and that is Jack Hammer. Yet now you claim there was no victim? Are you insane? Uh oh, he's pulling out all the stops now. I'm sorry. What? It was I who was. What? Okay, right. First you're right, now you're wrong. Now I lose light. No! Which is it? Look, look, I'm sure there's something we're overlooking. No! Uh, just as sure didn't tell us what it is. What's this all about? I don't want to lose more life. The Sea Samurai was the victim. Okay. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite clear and simple. At the end of this fight, the Sea Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Sea Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Then don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Come on. Order, order, order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew that I uh, knew about Will Power's foot injury. But 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 wait! Had Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor Old Hammer? Nope. He already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Hmm. Mr. Jackhammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. No one was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in this dressing room. 
Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel samurai costume. Why though? Oh. But why would a victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Oh really? I thought that the steel samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Yeah. Huh, me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Oh! Da data? Yeah. Yeah, a photo of my digital camera. Oh, yes, I love you. What? Show us quick. No, no way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No. <laughs> Here, this is it. That's... Oh, yeah, that's Studio 2. Well, look... Well, look at this. It's uh, still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Bright. I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry. This doesn't look like it's proof we need. I give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at that photo once more. That's it. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Oh, yeah. What? What? Your, your, your Honor. May I see that photo once more, please? S certainly, I don't see why not. Phoenix, show them. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Okay, I gotta pause for a second. I got, I got a c phone call. Wait. Okay. I'm back. I'm sorry for that, about that. Uh, I had... Uh, there was someone calling me on the phone and apparently there was someone that needed to talk to me about stuff and... Uh, uh, my friend got over here and blah 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 blah. We don't need to talk about it. I'm sorry, but I'm back. Let's get into it again. Hmm. Huh. Find inconsistency in the photo. Well, the spear broke when they attacked someone, but that doesn't work right now. But what about this? It looks kind of weird. Like. What is up with that? What is happening? I don't want to be wrong again. It's right here! It's the Samurai! Yes, that's about the only thing in that could be inconsistent. It's the Sam. Wow, I don't understand. Oh no, we did wrong. Right. This is no time for daydreaming, pointless pontification. Think about your client and ask who are forced to listen to your rambling. You're welcome, Mr. Fry. Please rethink your position. Position. Find the inconsistent photo. I guess we go with a spear then, because it's kind of awkward. Or not awkward, but how it's blurry here, and why is it blurry here? I don't understand. I don't really know about the uniforms, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to look, but I guess we go with the spear. I don't know. Or maybe that the two? Is it, or maybe that's just for the studio. I don't know. It's right here. Yeah, we were wrong again. The stair something. Yeah, we were wrong again. Yes, we were wrong again. Dang it. What did they want us to point out? I don't understand what do you want from us? What do you want from us, game? What do you want from us? Because it looks like someone is holding uh, holding him up. But I guess that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seriously, what the poop is up with this? I guess we go with it. I don't know. What is that? Oh my gosh, I know every one of you is like, Oh, Rasmus, how can you not see it? I guess we go with the S. Is this right? I think it's here. You seem to be lacking even more confidence than usual. I suppose that's because I'm not confident about it at all. Maybe you want to rethink your case, Mr. Wright. But yes, please, Your Honor. Excuse me? Oh, okay, that was just another way of go, go with it, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, two. I don't want to be wrong. Your honor. Oh yes, finally. Your honor. Look at this. We did it. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh, 
Oh, I saw it already. Uh, I saw it all along, and I even said it like, "Oh yeah, Studio Two, blah blah blah." Oh, maybe the S is different all day. Blah 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 blah. Oh my gosh, I'm such a silly goose sometimes. Ah uh, yes, well it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one. Ah, uh, clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct. Uh, edgy boy, yeah. I believe Mr. Edgy Boy sees what I'm getting at. The the this this impossible. Hmm. Hey, what's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. Oh, you wanna? <laughs> you feel? Uh, you feel not included? Or oh, I use the studio quiet map. The body was found here in the studio one. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Okie dokie. And studio two. Yeah. Here at studio two. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in studio two. The path was blocked. Hmm. Um, the trailer is there. I think the path was blocked. Mm, no filming is done there. Oh, Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in studio two. The trailer is there. Well, yes. Are you are you thinking about uh, that uh, the director and the producer? As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. Oh, okay, well, we were correct about that. Yeah, see? The food screen. During that break, Mrs. Sal <laughs> and Mrs. Diva Kiss were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime! Yeah! The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard... The path was blocked at 2.15. The was 2.30. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mrs. Sal's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. Bum bum bum. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime studio too! <gasps> snap snap doodle. Yeah. Oh, oh, order, order. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was studio too. The person that the security guard, Miss Old Bag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a sale samurai costume. Then he went to studio too. This is madness. No, it's just one time asking. Uh, Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Oh, that would be sad, no? Well, well, no, of course not. Maybe there was an accident. All oh, right, the fence thing. Do you remember? Uh, no, I'm I totally off about that, I guess. Hmm. Oh, or do you have proof? I mean, the fence that will kind of spike in this. Like, oh, don't be near. It's kind of it can hurt you. Blah blah blah. When they talked about the flowers, you remember? And it was kind of bent. Maybe that's the. And they had an accident. I don't know. Maybe they were doing an extra rehearsal, and uh, everyone was like, Oh yeah, that's a great idea. And then the accident happened, and they didn't. And I don't know. They maybe they got scared and uh, tried to make it look like. Something else happened. I don't know. Okay, I, okay, I'm. Uh, that's not probably not right at all. Give me proof that the victim, yeah, camera stole the costume. I have proof. I do. I have proof. Snap, snap. Oh my. You, you, you do. You do, Mr. Bright. Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much, much less confident. Mia, tell me I'm good. I think I'm right though. Here's my proof. Oh, sorry. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Um, what was it again? <laughs> um, let's look at this. Cause the clothes were too big. I think that's wrong though. A little bit. Uh, no, they, uh, I really want to use this because I don't know when. When we're gonna use this? Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Sure, sleeping pills, but that doesn't 
you know, tell us exactly that, uh, that, um, like, maybe he drugged the willpowers, but that doesn't mean that uh, he stole the costume. I think we should go with the photo, because I think, I think it's kind of strange that uh, the pants are longer uh, than it should be. I don't know. I'm really worried that this is wrong, though. Wait, no, that can't be right. I got to have some proof that will knock their socks off. It's the right. We don't have all the time in the world here. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. Here's my proof that. Oh, here's my proof that Jagger was old costume. I guess we go with. But this is broken. So maybe the spear would be interesting. The murder weapon. I'm breaking this shaft. Has been murdered. Duct tape. Okay. No, wait, no, that. Okay, dang it. Maybe later we will uh, able to use that. Okay, let's go with this then. I think this is wrong too. Okay, I was going to go with him, Mr. Monkey Head later. This is it. An empty medicine bottle. I found this on a table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammond and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Oh, man. I think it yes, actually was that he didn't get murdered. I think it was an accident. No. So I'm starting thinking that now. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicion, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Test powers blood. Fingerprint the bottle. Hmm. I guess. How do we do that, though? An idea. Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. What now? The, this court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jackhammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trail did have time to commit murder. Mr. Bright. Yes, Your Honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the samurai costume? I have an idea, but I can tell you later. Also, who killed him and why? Find the answer for me. Find the answer for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgy Boy. <laughs> you will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, you uh, <sighs> This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Hello. Sleep. Very well. Court is adjourned. Yay! October 19, 2.47pm. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Oof! That was a close one! We were saved by a hair, and that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during this trial. <laughs> Aw, me, me too! Me too. Uh, really? You both seem so, so confident. Oh, thank you. Ha! Maybe I should take up a, ca a career in acting. Maybe not, or maybe, I don't know. I was ready to pr pronounce you're dead about three times back there. <laughs> uh, okay, that's confident. Me too! D d dead? Oh, of course, we're kidding. That's a cruel joke. Oh, are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Ah, oh. now, Miss Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R r oh, napkin! R right, thanks. <laughs> Don't cry. Continue! Oh, this was a long episode. Alright, but I have an idea. Okay. I have an idea about what happened. I think it was an accident and that uh, we we found out about that Jackhammer was a, he, uh, was an actor, you know, he played as a hero character way before, but then something happened and that messed it up and now he has to act like a villain and his actor's thing, his actor, his career as actor has gone downhill. And maybe that was like, I'm gonna drug you, and I'm gonna do your part uh, to show or to show them that I am still a hero character and I can still do it. 
Something like that, I think. I don't know. So I think it maybe was an accident that Jackhammer accidentally killed himself. Maybe that he fell after rehearsing at the studio thing. Um, because the spear broke, so it couldn't have been the spear that murdered him. Because it was it broke under the um, rehearsal and stuff. I don't know. We'll see what happens next time. This is getting really, really interesting. Yeah. I I really want to know. I really want to know. I find the truth, you know. I want to find the answer. Yes. Well, thank you so much for watching and liking and commenting. And wherever you are, I and Wednesday or night, I hope you're having a great time. See you later, my friends. Bye bye. Ash uh, Sandcastle. Are you sure it's not poop? Is that our boat? What a nice looking boat we had. Whoa.